She's smoking while I asked her to do me the bread. Where is she? She pushed me out of the way. You can do something else. I was a little belligerent with the cops, so they ended up searching me, and they found a joint. She saved my life, you know? I'm just gonna die. Tomorrow, if I don't get a little bit more responsibility, yeah. then I don't need to be here. Half the time you don't show up, buddy. I don't care. That guy's gonna get beat up tomorrow. Last night, after weeks of struggle, we finally opened for business. It was disappointing, to say the least. It reminded us just how much of a struggle this is going to be. The side is up, but uh, I still don't have any plates. No. Right now, I don't lose my cool. When I'm going to lose my cool, man, I'm going to send everybody home and lock the doors. The plates are looking gorgeous. It's the first night. It's going to take some time, but they're looking really, really nice. Despite our best efforts yesterday, we almost lost Justin. Look at me. It's five years. I was like you. Eternity. You know. Yeah, yeah, I know. What do you think it is for me? <laughs> it's a lifetime. Jesse was living in a most drug-infected area of Vancouver, and his addiction was getting the better of him. I got to go find a shelter. Yes. Why? He's staying at um, yeah, but tastings sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. He's staying in the best place. It's like if you put uh, the kids in a candy store uh, and say, don't, <laughs> don't, don't touch the candies. That's exactly where I was 15 years ago. It's a place where you come to hit rock bottom, and Justin has to cross that area every night. So if he wants to stay alive, we have to get him out of there. OK, I'll see you a little bit later, guys. I'm going to be a, a mover today. So I'm going to move Justin. I'm going to go to, uh, to his apartment. We're going to take all his clothes out of there, because we found him, uh, we found him a shelter. I don't have any family, no. And the friends that you have? They're gone. They got to go. good friends to have. Uh, yeah, I like, you know, I have a girl who, who saved my life, who called an ambulance for me once, and it <coughs> breaks my heart, but I have to break contact with her, you know? And I, I can't, I left her here to die. And I can't save her the way she saved me. I basically had died of a heroin overdose, and uh, she started pumping on my chest, and she called an ambulance for me. And it was, you know, like going on, you know, five, seven minutes when they got there and shot me in the can that, uh, you know, before I started breathing again. Where's the elevator? There's no elevator. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. <laughs> Finally. Okay, I'll take the suitcase. Yeah. yeah. I'll come back for you, man. Do that. And if you talk to Sin, tell her one day I'll be back for her. She's gonna die. Yeah. Don't worry about it, bro. She be good. She saved my life. You know? I know, I know. I know what you're saying. You gotta take care of your own, right? So where is she? Is she okay? Honestly, I care less about okay. it. <laughs> I'd much rather this guy be cool than her, you know? Yeah, yeah. I and if you. she's gone, he's good. That's the way I see it. Let's go back to your new life. Come on. A new life. New life. I imagine being in the area would bother Mark, given that it's just steps away from where he did drugs 15 years ago. Does it f you up when you see the f A little bit, don't lie to me. Oh. A little bit? A little bit? No, oh, mama. While I was away dealing with Justin, I put my assistant Jeffrey in charge. Do you think it's 3.30? Uh, come up around 3.30. No, at 3.30. All the trainees have to listen to him and respect him, but because of their background, they're not good at either of those things. Where is Elvis? I was late. I had to go home and get a belt because my pants were falling off. Elvis, why are you late? No, he was with me. He was, he was, I was, he was with someone. There's no excuse for it. I apologize. OK, you have one hour. Okay. So let's go now. That'll be no problem. Zoran, are you dreaming? Am I dreaming? Yes. I ask you to work, not to text. I'm not texting. I put my phone on vibrate to put it away so I have my pockets are empty. Thank you very much. I think do the bathroom before. They're doing the majority of the like the setup, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what do you need me to do? Supervise them, make sure they do the setup <laughs> properly. 
It's great to have David Jackson around. He is a graduate of Conviction in Toronto, so he's a good role model and supervisor for the current trainees. That's not the right way to put the water in there. We're in all when you guys do it. I'm supervising, dude. I got you something. <laughs> Just his addiction story is very similar to mine, so that's why we want to help him. It's great to be able to get out and see a little bit of Vancouver. I only wish that we didn't have to get Justin to a rehab center in order to do it. It's beautiful out here, huh? Yeah, it's nice. Gorgeous. Look at the mountains. I just, I just told him, I said, it's gorgeous. You know, at least he has a room with a view. <laughs> he does have a room with a yeah. view. Let me help you up, but I'm taking you back to You're work to work with today, me. yeah? You're going to work. I'll do my best. Yeah, it's better to be with us anyway. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, don't leave me alone. Good. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm my own worst enemy. Elvis, you don't need to move all the chairs. No? You go through the chairs. Go through the chairs. OK, absolutely. I'm usually pretty quiet, and I let other people dictate what role I'm going to play, usually. Um, just based on the overall chemistry of who I'm working with and stuff like that. Because sometimes it might rub the people the wrong way, being like a really loud, boisterous, you know, leader. What's he doing? Going around, around, around? I'm doing circles. That's what I do before I start serving. Oh, well, you're useless, so. I'm useless. <laughs> don't ever call me useless. That's ever. why, don't ever. forget when I say something, don't, ever. don't forget. Don't I, ever. Told, I told you that to, don't. you react to be better after. So if you're not better, don't. I will think always that. I'm just saying, don't and I'm ever. not thinking, oh, I'm a top of the No, 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 no I'm not thinking don't, that. Don't, don't degrade me. From don't me? Ever, don't ever call okay. me useless. Stop, okay. okay, I understand. We'll leave it at that. That's all I'm saying. You need to work. Speak and to not, me. Speak to me. Not going speak around to and me. going around speak and going around. Speak to me around. like a human being with some respect, okay? Yes. I had a bad feeling when I got back to the restaurant, and I was right. It wasn't good, and it had to be rectified immediately. Can we all just have a, a little, just the four of you guys? You're not gonna be a tough guy because you're not gonna survive here. Unless you can teach me something or you can teach him something. Because if you know a lot, you know too much, this is not good for you. Okay. We should give somebody else, else a chance who really Absolutely. wants to learn. I agree. Okay. Later, guys. What's up, brother? Are you leaving? Yeah. Damn, man. First of all, he doesn't do what I ask him. I'm quite sure he did that in purpose. He's he is. ignorant. It's he his is. way. It's right. his way. Right. He doesn't think he needs to respect me. Like, uh, I'm not bien now. Yeah, I think he's a ignorant sucker. Firing Elvis has left us one short in the dining room. And now Maggie hasn't shown up, which is really odd because she did quite well last night. Yet the service has started and she's nowhere to be found. I'm gonna have to text Maggie and it's definitely not like her. She seemed to really like this and uh, she's good at it and she helped, she saved my ass. So um, let's just hope, yeah. How was last night? Did you have a lot of people? It was decent. It was good for the first night. My son works in the kitchen. Oh, who, Brent? Yeah. OK. Nice to meet you guys. Brent's a great guy. No, it's good. I'm glad they came. Because uh, my parents, for one, don't eat food like this too often. And they're kind of celebrating their 31st anniversary with their friends that they're with, which is their 32nd anniversary. Excuse me? Yep. This is Brent's mom. Want to say hi to you? Nice to meet you. How are you? Very, very good. Hey, where's, that, where's that handsome boy of mine? I love you. I'm glad you guys came. Oh, it's a restaurant. It's beautiful. Your food is to die for. He cooked it. I'm glad he's not cooking for me. I weigh 500 pounds. Oh, my God. That was cool when my mom came back here, you know? I've put them through hell over the last, like, 15 years, and I'm just glad that I'm doing something that they're proud of today, you know? They, it's not like they weren't proud of me before. They just weren't proud of what I was doing. After opening night last weekend, Maggie ended up sleeping on the beach, which apparently the police didn't like. I was a little belligerent with the cops, so they ended up searching me, and they found a joint, and... A joint that 
Well, yeah. They found the joint, they took my phone, they brought me in. They were complete joint they brought you in? Well, I was belligerent. I had an attitude. They strip searched me, they threw me in the tank. They kept me there until like four or five in the afternoon. Are you okay now though? I'm fine now. You ready to work? Yep. Let's go. I had to explain it to my girlfriend. Like I had one phone call, so I called her. Right now, my biggest goals are poise and, and decorum and things like that. And I'm, I'm, I fell short. And I'm disappointed in myself for not controlling my attitude, but I'm working on it. I'm there with customers. I won't get mad at customers in front of them. So I guess that's all we have to worry about. Join me, let's go. Yes, Come sir. here. And what is this for me? Uh, that's a pilo. Pilo? Yeah. It's called Pad Brise. Pad Brise. Can you wrap them? Wrap them, yeah. Yeah, OK. And you put them in a the fridge. Okay. You can never use it right away. So yeah. it's better it stays in a fridge for one night. Oh, is that called? What's it called? Yeah. Oh, God. I can't pronounce it again. It's pretty tricky. OK, but what is it in English? Bread dough? A pie dough, you pie dough. Yeah, for brains, you. I just told you two minutes ago. I know. Pie dough. Pie dough. OK, so write it. No, no, it's a marker, so you know what it is. So when I send you in there, you don't look for two hours for it. OK. Bread dough. <laughs> I know, I know. Hope I spelt it right. Cassandra came to see me about uh, some uh, time off this weekend. Know that her and her girlfriend settled down in Vancouver. They are getting married. We're trying to get a tattoo appointment because we're going to get our, our wedding bands tattooed on our fingers. Nice. So. Hey, if you find a good tattoo parlor, let me know. I, need I will. We're just kind of getting eloped and um, yeah. just sort of spending the day together. And, just... and what are you guys doing for dinner? Uh, we haven't. We're trying to call a place to see if they'll do maybe like a couple courses of vegan, but uh, because it's a Friday night, the one place we want to go to won't do it. So we have to just go find a place for dinner. So how about I gift you for your wedding a dinner for your wedding party here? Okay. And the chef is going to cook you a vegan meal. Really? Oh, absolutely. No that would be amazing, chef. Yeah? Oh, wow. Watch well, out, you're going to be very surprised. <laughs> you know what I have in the back here? I have pre lentils. You know pre lentils? Most, the nicest lentils in the world. She used to be a cheerleader, eh? Who, Cassandra? Yeah, I, I, in high school, I was a cheerleader. Yeah. I why? To me, curls. <laughs> nice! The football team and the tights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it was OK. It kind of worked out. I need to use the phone. He needs to use the phone. I do. But I can't get him to go out there like this. Where do you have to go? In Vancouver. OK. Where else would he call somebody? Oh, yeah, I don't know. You can't call China. They got you. Don't know him. Yeah, right. Do I look, do I look Chinese? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. No. A little not. The problem with Tommy is uh, that uh, his head is not here. Something is up to get home, and it's really distracting him. Me and Sylvia fight a lot, and uh, maybe if we could keep booze out of the equation, though, we could probably both be a lot better off. It seems to fuel the fire. Hi. Right. Don't do anything crazy, OK? We've been together for four years. My parents think we're crazy together, but everybody does. I'll be home soon, though, OK? I don't know. Just don't be stupid. Oh, my god. Thank you. It's a good thing I called. <laughs> Things might not be good tonight when I get home. I don't know. Well, you never know. It just It's a daily thing. The project is struggling. We have no customer. And uh, again, I know the trainee didn't show up today. And this time, it's Tommy. So Tommy didn't show up? Oh, he was supposed to be here, but he hasn't called or, I don't know. Again, that's twice. Apparently, his uh, girlfriend was drunk last night or something. And, yeah. He's got a kind of crazy life, eh? Yeah. Well, it's like when I didn't show up, like, I felt so bad for not calling, but I had one phone call. And, yeah. I spoke to Bian about it yesterday. I didn't have a good feeling about him being back. Because he told Jay yesterday, he says, holy my old lady's hammered again, so, you know. But yesterday, he was very close to have a panic attack, so I gave him my phone. And he was saying, no, no, baby, uh, no, don't do that. Don't wait till I come home. So I say, oh, I feel bad for the guy, you know. I 
There was a theft last night and somebody went through Maggie's purse. Maggie's bag was left in the staff area where the staff washroom is. Somebody took her all her cigarettes and $20 out of her wallet. I really want to create a work environment where people don't have to lock their belongings. And it's just also respect towards one another. Maybe this is just an isolated incident, and I'm hoping so. Just don't steal each other's money. Thank you. Somebody tried to tell me it was Tommy, like, because he's not here, it looks suspicious. Um, but Tommy doesn't smoke, and I, I somehow just don't get the fact, I, I just don't see Tommy taking the time to go through my purse. I didn't even know this happened. Cassandra called to say that she's going to be late. Apparently, she got her hair done in preparation for her big day. Let me see. Let me see. Looks good. Turn around. Nice. Yeah. No, she straightened it out and trimmed it up. And I prefer that better than the blonde and the pink. You happy? Yeah, I like it. It's good. A little Ready for the wedding sure. tomorrow. Yeah. Ta-da! Nice! Nice! Pretty cool. Whoa. Very Cassandra. She likes it. Yeah, it's I cool. like it. I do. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Nothing, oh. nothing intense. Yeah. <laughs> I like it a Beautiful. lot. Beautiful. <laughs> I have to get a <laughs> mohawk soon. <laughs> Hey, Atara, you have to move it a little bit. Eh? When, when you hear me call, it's your table. So come a little bit quicker. Okay. Before it looks like It's her. It doesn't have that sense of urgency about anything. And I have a sense of urgency about everything, so I'm a little different like that. They're not set up for your food. Fork knife spoon. But they don't have fork knife spoon. They don't? Once it gets busier, she just has to. She has to come and live on my planet for a bit. They all need a fork and a knife, both of them. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It's a little bit confusing, a little bit stressful, <laughs> but it's good. No problems at all. <laughs> cool as a cucumber. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, but if you could possibly tell me with what a pea fluta is. Um, is it a vegetable? I know that, but I forget, so I'm going to double check. I will check for you, OK? Diana, what is the fluta again? Fluta is potato dumpling. Potato dumpling? Oh, OK. Yes. It's bad enough that Atta forgets the food on the menu, but she forgets everything, even telling the customer. You know, I try to encourage her and just help her and I sort of go and chat up her tables a little bit if it seems like she hasn't been by for a while. Have you ordered it already? Yes. I, I can. So here's your Fanny Bay. Oh, thank you. It uh, takes a while before you pick up on all the subtleties. So, I mean, you just got to give her time. If she really wants it, she'll get it. Did anybody order a mini bison burger as an appetizer? Yes, I, I remember them ordering a mini bison burger. Uh, you never even wrote bison burger. OK, I, I, I might have gotten confused with the link card. I don't know how. The well, link card is fish and bison burger. OK. Brent must have been taking some lessons from Atara because he was really spaced out tonight. Did you put two chicks in there? Yeah. Okay. There's a whole bunch stuck to the side. Too. I know. Yeah. When you do give me two chicks, why you don't uh, have these ones ready? Uh, you don't. It's very chef. Holy you... man! But wh what is his uh, position here? His position? Ed. No, I'm saying no. like, is he like the associate of some uh, kind? No, right now he's a idiot. Tonight you were useless. If we do ten more people, we totally because I don't know where the you are, but you definitely not here tonight. Tonight, I took a lot of heat in the kitchen. Um, I don't know, Chef told me this morning at like 11 o'clock, maybe 1 o'clock actually, after we realized Tommy wasn't showing up. He's like, I'm going to yell at you tonight. It's not even going to be your fault. I just ha don't have Tommy here to yell at you. I kind of maybe took it a little personal tonight. I got a lot of in my mind, and I'm just trying to get things done so I can get out of here right now. Did you get training? Yeah. Oh, uh, a little bit of training. <laughs> I think you have to be a criminal <laughs> or an ex criminal and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> Itar just needs to get something right for once in her life. And then she'll turn into the great server that I know she is. 
So I thought you were doing it for a while because they're pretty uh, comfortable. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, thank you. That makes my night. I'll just take this from you. Thank you. They said they come back to in two weeks. And that I was, they said I was really good. So that was good. Hello, uh, hi, can I speak to Tommy, please? I'm not with him right now, but what? Ah, okay. Is that what I'm not fit, yeah, can you, uh, can you ask him uh, to call uh, Mark? Tommy missed work yesterday, and uh, I still didn't hear nothing from him today. I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. But I think he's on his way there or something, isn't he? I, oh, I don't know, maybe he's on his way here, but... Uh, but is he okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. It was his girlfriend, and she says, well, everything is okay, no. You know what that means. Brianna went and talked to the guys behind the bar, and she asked them to, like, you know, get me involved back there and start teaching me things. And we got to learn it all in one day. I'm just got to inject all the information in my brain, and I'm going to be a superstar bartender overnight. I made my first martini. That was cool. Simon back here was teaching me, showing me the ropes. Oh, oh, this is for the drink too? Yeah, he drinks drinks. We learned a really cool trick with uh, the citric fruits. You just peel, take off the peel and you and you heat it up with the lighter and then you give it a little squirt and it just, like, shoots out the citric oil and gives out a little flame. It's a really cool effect. It brings, just brings out the flavor. It gives this really, uh, this really nice, like caramelized kind of, uh, kind of citrus smell. So this is fun back here. I can, I can do this for a long time and be happy. We were down uh, one guy. Tommy didn't show up, so who knows if he'll be back or not. But um, the way he was talking to, you, I was, I'm not too sure if he wanted to be here really. It's quieter with Tommy in the kitchen, but that means. Obviously, let Sam to do the work, and he raises the stress level. Nicole, I need three baskets of bread now. Nicole, seriously, the bread has to be a lot quicker than that. Take the bread in the front, get the waiters to get it. They know exactly what they need. Why do we have to do that? You can fight all you want. What no, do you no, want no, me to I'm do? I'm not fighting, B. Put it in here, I say I'll it's do easier. It. No, no, I'll do At it. At least you know what you, what you want. I'll do it's the Thanks. I'm gonna go for a cigarette, then. She's smoking while I asked her to do me the bread. Who? She's all that one, just so you know. Where is she? She has an attitude problem. Where is she? Can you stay at the and you yes, think that? Yes, chef. She pushed me out of the way, so what do I do? No. You can do that. something else. I'll do the dishes. I'll do the dishes. Get in here. Yeah, I was told to, to get out of the way, so I moved. I walked away. I was going to go have a quick puff, and then I got yelled at. That's part of the job. There's no communication, maybe because you never worked in a kitchen. And I just don't like people walking off the line because they're upset. Chef, do you have a little Chiron for my burger? Yes, sir. Sauce Chiron. Which one is it? The tomato sauce inside I'm your stupid. I'm grabbing it right now. Holy <laughs> for brains, they got. I'm definitely going to make myself more aware of the timing and make more aware of what Chef's doing, and I'm going to be doing what I need to be doing. I know he's kind of been getting a little choked that uh, my timing's a little off, but it's, it's practice, right? The back of the house was falling behind. The front of the house was crazy. And then Justin started with his own drama. OK, until you set your tables, you're not getting food anymore. The, the guy didn't have spoons, so he was going to drink out of the bowl, so. I'm going to walk out, man. No sense of freaking out. I'm just telling you what your no, mistakes I know, are. I, I know, but I just, I just don't um, want to waste the food. Don't freak over. Down, come down, come down. I'll look at Like, I'm everything up out there. I got like five, six tables ordering weird and weird wines I can't find in the P of the P of point of sale system. Slow down, pay attention. Slow down. Slow down. Just relax, man. We're not performing heart what, what, surgery. What, Holy what, what, You're yelling at me as if I am, though. No, I'm not yelling at you as if you are. You're yelling at me as if I am. All I want is for you to put the spoon down. Don't get into my face. Put the spoon down when you order the soup. You know, I don't even know why you go and cry to them. I'm telling them that I'm not picking up the 
for you because I'm out. That's what I was telling them. Where you pick? Where you out? Where? I was just gonna leave, but then I remembered. Just, oh, shut the up. Up. just please shut the. Up. You go back to him nicely. Apologize. He's a really nice guy. He's not gonna care. Thank you. Oh, he was going home. I'm terribly sorry. No, bro, it's all right. Yeah, it's easy. So sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. Got a spoon now. So. <laughs> I understand Justin for being upset because he's going through a, a very tough time in his life. So right now, he, he's, it's good when things are calm and he can handle service properly. But the moment he gets a little bit hectic, yeah, he's going to walk out. Put your pocket back inside your pants. Put your oh. pocket back inside your pants. <laughs> unless you're leaving. <laughs> Hey, Viana. No, nobody, none of them. Are do. you leaving too? I, I can go. <laughs> I'm gone. Uh oh, everyone's leaving. Uh oh. <laughs> Listen, I'm not, a, I'm not a magician, you know, you understand? There's some people it's gonna work, and there's some people, but, you know, maybe they do the dishes better than they do cooking. But show me you wanna do something else, man. Hey, I can move from there, take my place, I would be happy. Rome wasn't built in one year, was it? No. So it's gonna take time, for sure. I on you when you make mistakes, but, but I make because mistakes. I like you, I like everybody, but there's some people, I know I don't have to scream at them because I know it's not gonna go anywhere you realize where you made mistakes tomorrow new day I know it's tough but Rente Cassandra are coming on nicely and they will be terrific one day in the kitchen and tomorrow Cassandra is getting married you I see you tomorrow give me a yes. hug <laughs> give me a hug <laughs> Well, you know what's happening tomorrow is going to be a little hard since I'm having dinner here. It's going to be in the back of my mind. Look, I could be back there. I could be helping out. But um, I'm going to try to uh, do what I do when I come in here and focus on the day tomorrow instead of focusing on work when I'm not at work. Tommy's driving us both nuts. Tomorrow he's going to come in and it's just going to be a big show of excuse after excuse after excuse of why he wasn't here. And it's like, I don't know, like, well, I mean, Chef said we're here for, like, you know, last chances, not fifth or sixth chances. My guys have to learn how to deal with the stress in a busy kitchen. Unfortunately, Cassandra and Brent are determined to blame Tommy. Do we have to bring guns in here? Or... Do you know where it is? Huh? Yeah, I see that house over there. We haven't heard from Tommy in two days. And we have no way to get in touch with him, so we drove to his place. Hi. OK, I'll come outside. OK, come outside. I'll come outside. Come outside. OK, for sure? Yep. You know I was calling? I called you yesterday. We don't even know what's happening with you. Yeah, I was going to call you guys. Maybe come there later today. I don't know. To do what? Because I spoke to you. Uh, did you My girlfriend. Yeah. Something. I didn't have a phone for her to talk to me. I know. But uh, I spoke to your girlfriend. Told your girlfriend told me yesterday that you were on your way over there. Yeah, that's Last what she night. thought. Uh, when I went around the corner yeah. and you were, and I heard you talking to your uh, girlfriend, you said, no, honey, don't do this, don't do that. I'm going to be here soon, I'm going to be here. So that's why I said, OK, when you ask me, I said, go home right away. And then I find out also that you were, uh, you, you said, oh, for my girlfriend was drinking tonight, I have to go home right away. That's what you said. Uh, that's what you said. No, she doesn't hear. Yeah, she will. No, she will. Hear she it. will. Okay. So, so, uh, so, so, so you, say, so, oh, yeah, so you yeah. said that, and then you don't show up. I, 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 I thought you were maybe in jail. Any, you know, you don't know these things. Yeah. So at least, if you have any personal problem, let me know. If you don't want to, and you've got your personal situations, and yeah. maybe they'll they need to be taken care of a little bit more deeply no. or something, we got it. No, no. Uh... Just let us know, so like that we can give somebody else a chance. Or... Yeah, I understand. Or so wait well, for I'll, your uh, gracious I'll return. Well, no, I don't need a gracious return. But, but we need you, so that's what I'm saying like that. Okay, well, I'll have to be, I'll be there. I'll, I'm when? Gonna, later, in about in two hours. Is that a promise? Yeah, I'll be there. Thank you. I promise. All right, two hours. Okay. Okay, I'll be there. Okay. Sure? Yeah. Okay, shave, okay. boy. I will. Okay, thanks. All right, all right. And then you and I, we have a talk. Okay. I don't know what's going on with Tommy's girlfriend, but it's affecting his work and it becomes our business. Tommy is back. I'm quite relieved. Get her done. Because with Cassandra's wedding tonight, we're going to need some help. 
I just heard that uh, somebody had stolen some cigarettes and 20 bucks from Maggie. And I was actually uh, just commenting last week how it's nice that everybody can be trusted. And now I find out that there's a, a thief amongst us. Someone tried to point the finger at you. And I, yeah, and I knew for a fact it wasn't you, so. Oh, really? But I do. So is it who I think it is? A guy? Huh? Oh, yeah, no. That wouldn't be me. It's not in my nature to do that. They know who they are, and uh, hopefully they have a conscience. We've got word that a local food critic is coming in tonight. I've decided to have Justin serve him. It's a bit of a risk, but I think he can do it. Tell me what I like. What you like is... And why I like it. And I will say exactly that. Then you'd like to suggest the ling cod. Ling cod. Why? Because it's poached in olive oil. I'm counting on our spectacular food to win over the critic. And if Justin does a great job, his self-confidence will get a huge boost. There's a wonderful contrast to this dish. <laughs> exactly. There you go. There you go. How, how to bull yeah. <laughs> If you sold drugs for 15 years, you can do this. Uh, OK. Uh, would you, my name's Itara. Welcome to Conviction. Um, can I start you guys off with some drinks? They want, oh, there's two sides. Oh, okay, so the white's on this side, I guess, okay. This will take me a few minutes then. Okay, I'll, I'll leave you guys to it, yeah. and I'll come back in a couple sure. minutes. Yeah, thank you. At first, Justin was doing great with the food critic. He was confident and not too pushy, which is how I like my service to be. But then, Maggie started doing Justin's job. Do you have any idea what you're gonna yeah. be ordering? Oh, no, no, yeah. Okay. I don't want two people serving one table. It's over-serving, and I don't want that. It's, it's my goal one day to try every wine on that list. Yeah, everybody needs life goals, you know? It will take a while. It's a big list. I've got time. That's good. They can be over-served by two people, so I want one serving. Just like them, OK? Just be nice and polite, get whatever they wanted. OK. Let them adjust will be back to explain to you. OK? Thanks. Apparently, she just didn't realize that I had already gone to the table. I don't really give a whatever, but uh, yeah, and uh, it's over serving. It's not cool. It makes me look like a retired. It makes it makes us all look stupid. Pick up, please. These are the Fanny Bay Hog Select, okay? Uh, Jeff. Yes. Uh, are the oysters raw? Or yes. Yes, they're all raw. Well, yeah, you don't cook oysters. Yeah. Oh. That's what I thought. <laughs> what did Joshua ask? Are the oysters cooked or are they raw? No, no, she asked it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did. No, she didn't. Six of us. Six? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one of you has to sit on the rocking horse. Maggie was so excited to be the server for Cassandra's wedding party. She just wanted the whole night to be perfect, as we all did. And I think Cassandra's guests also appreciate a make sense of humor. You're gonna smell the cord. Actually, it's a twist off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to the newlyweds. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm just curious. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome, you're welcome. Um, here's Lena. Hi, Lena. No, please. It's very nice to see Cassandra looking so happy. And I know Mark is excited about cooking the vegan dishes. Oh, wow. This is the vegan stuff, eh? A piece of art. A vegan diet means no animal product. So I use vegetable product in unusual ways. And oils are actually a great way to introduce exciting flavors. My favorite is coriander oil. It's good. It's really good. These beets are really good. Yeah. Look at that, eh? Like your friends, man. Let's go. I can tell the market's having fun creating the vegan menu. He's been excited about making that pre-lentil dish because I think it reminds him of home. Pot of of pre-lentils, fried tofu, yam noodles, and, uh, flavored with sesame and ponzu. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. I've never had such beautifully cooked vegan food before. It's always such a challenge to go out. So it's really nice that he did all that, and I feel like he really went out of his way. It's very yeah. much appreciated. So. Our chili wrap pea frost with sea scallop and coconut foam is quickly becoming a big hit. The food critic saw it on the menu right away, so I wanted it to be just right. That's boiling. Hold it straight, huh? Thank you. 
Presentation is very important to Mark. Dishes must look perfect when they reach the table, and the food critic was very impressed with the soup. This was great. It was great? Really good. Yeah. We, get, we get a lot of compliments on it. Justin seemed to be doing quite well with the food critic at his table, but then I noticed that there was a second critic in Maggie's section. I'm like, well, this goes here and this goes here. Don't worry, just give me this, this, and this, and I know where it goes, I hope. Yes, we give me the troubles on the table. That's OK. Maggie seemed to have everything under control, but then I noticed how she set up the cutlery, and she really messed up this time. I checked the sheet that you put up. It said steak knife. That's why. No, you said to me pork cheeks. Oh, my God. Come back here after. She said to me pork cheeks, which is your risotto. Yeah. She meant pork chop. Is he having a risotto or is he having the pork chop? Pork cheek. Cheek, cheek, cheek. cheek. So he's having the risotto with yes, the pork. Yes, the, sure. right. the, the order is right. The order is right. The order is right. Never mind. It's not a pork chop. I just put the wrong cutlery on the table. You're OK. You're OK. Having two food critics in at the same night is quite unusual. No wonder Biana is freaking out. Especially here, after being open for just one week. I just like to get the plates out of your way here. But I think Justin did a fabulous job. I loved it. That one dish with the scallops and the pea, the pea and the coconut foam, amazing. As it turns out, stressing over the food critic in Maggie's section wasn't all that necessary because she was here to celebrate her friend's birthday and not to write a review. She was looking for a place that would be fun, so that's why we're here. And um, it was fun. It was interesting. Tommy Fry! Hey, Tommy Fry! Yes. I'm coming with it. I'm cooking another one right now. Here. It's not enough? Barely. Why, 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 why? Hey! Yes, oh, look. yes. Your fries are Don't even fries you can do. OK. Look at that. That's what he put on. That is. Maybe I should have paid more attention, but he likes to blow it out of proportion. I don't give a Whatever. It's the way it goes. For vegan desserts, we do a risotto with dairy-free white chocolate. Soy chocolate ice cream served on a white chocolate risotto with coconut milk. I'm in love with the guy. He just amazing, you Whoa. know, that was <laughs> <laughs> in like a cooking culinary yeah. love yeah. way, you know, yeah. not like in a love, love, love <laughs> way. No. Cassandra's dinner went really well. And obviously I could have used the help. And uh, last minute order came in and I had to call Tommy back from the dish pit. Is my soup there on the uh, stove right now? Just lit it. I don't okay, know. I'm just asking. Yeah, I know you're asking. I know what English sounds like. Huh? I said, yeah, I know you're asking. I know what English sounds like. Don't give me your attitude. Or else what? What? I'm or just else telling what? you, don't give do it. Or else I'm what? I'm getting sick of it. What do sick you think is going to happen? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, what do you want to tell me? It's my service. What do you think, Brett? Yeah. Mark relies on Brent and how much he's learned so far. And I think that is what Tommy resents. Why yeah. do you mean like that for? Because he's a goof. You're a bigger goof right now than he is. Well, he's the one that opens his mouth first. I just get in the end. Do you think I care? We have 60 well, people still out there. I'd love to punch him right in the head. Can you, hey, you know, the less you talk, the more dishes no, you I've already done enough dishes. That guy doesn't do any dishes, and I'm sick of it. Tomorrow, if I don't get a little bit more responsibility, then I don't need to be here, because I'm not a this big. Hey, yeah, right? like, like I said to you, nobody needs so, to stay here. You don't like right. it, you yeah. don't like it, you can go. And I will. Nobody respects you because you the idiot. Well, I don't care, though. Half the time you don't show up. I don't it. care. You, you, you bring your problems from home to work, but. Yeah, well, you no. guys come to my you house know, looking you, for my problems. You, you, you so, know, you know, we did. You know we came to talk to you. Well, well, no, that's fucking, not what he's saying you know, right you now. You should know some His time's coming, so I don't give a You laugh all you want, Brent. I'll You'll be back on drugs right after it, man. I guarantee it. OK. Loser. No, you came in with the wrong yeah. attitude. I know, but he's always got a bad attitude. I don't want to see it. I'm telling you. So that you don't, you're not happy here? Go then. Well, I will. It's not a big deal. I will as soon as I'm ready. But every time I think I'm not going to be here, somebody else asks me. No, we won't. We won't beg you anymore. OK, well, that's good. How many chances you can give a guy like that? All he had to do is shut up, do the work, but he wouldn't. Nobody can talk because you talk over Well, I know, because I'm pissed off. Listen. Listen to me. Forget Brent. Yeah, he's a goof. Forget though. them, forget Brent. Yeah, Just yeah. listen to me over what? here. Yeah, okay? what? 
Don't talk to me like that. Okay, what? I'll take you outside. Okay, what? All right. I think it was a big mistake to bring Tommy back. Whatever is going on with him has left him emotionally unstable. He's got a big mouth. That's but all it is. Actually, no, he's really quiet. Yeah, well, you don't hear him because he's like a little. He's, he's a, a little, little smirk. Smirk. He's a little behind but he got everybody's you all wrapped up. Yeah, because he's a bloated. You are just a, a little weasel. Thanks, Tommy. Give me a favor. Get me home. Thank you. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Good. You know, I ain't gonna react to his empty threats. You know, I'm still on probation for uttering death threats right now, and like, I don't need that. I'm not kidding either, eh? This is the only part time you haven't seen me joking around. That guy's gonna get beat up tomorrow. He's one of those little, like a little teacher's pet. You know, if he could only come to back his game with how big his mouth chatters, you know, something might actually get accomplished. He talks a lot of, but he doesn't do well. He thinks that he's better than everybody now because he's refrained from doing drugs or whatever, but he could be back on the street in a minute, you know, and I wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. He can go himself. Tomorrow, if it happens again, I'm gonna give the restaurant one more chance, but I will beat the out of that guy right in the restaurant. I want this.